The discovery of a two million year old fossil has researchers at NYU and around the world excited. In this episode of Bradyacs, you're gonna find out why. The story begins in South Africa at the Paleoanthropological World Heritage Site known as the Cradle of Humankind. This is where scientists discovered fossilized lumbar vertebrae, bones from the lower back of an ancient female human ancestor known as Australopithecus sediba. Professor Scott Williams says this finding is the missing link they've been searching for. They fit perfectly with what we had before. So this is what we had before, and the new lumbar vertebrae sort of um, fit together with the old ones. And now we have a much more complete lower back. Okay, so why should you be excited about the lower back of a fossil hominin? Because it's a major clue into how they moved and how we evolved. And apparently, scientists have been debating this for a really long time. There's been arguments for decades about how they moved around, whether they walked around very much like we do, or whether they walked around um, sort of in a more intermediate manner between our closest relative chimpanzees and gorillas and us. Turns out the answer is both. The fossils prove the Australopithecus sediba could move around like us and swing in trees. These big processes that are coming out and pointing upward tell us also that she had very powerful back muscles, probably for climbing. And this prehistoric lumbar spine is curved, not straight, and that inward curvature is called lordosis. It's seen in modern humans, and it indicates early adaptations to bipedalism, or walking on two feet. I think it's exciting because one of the qu main questions we have in, in paleoanthropology is when did bipedalism evolve, how, and how did it evolve? The new fossil discovery unlocks more secrets in the mystery of human evolution. So what's next? If we're not careful with our phones and devices, we may end up looking like this. Thanks for watching. I'm Sapna Parikh. I'll see you next time.